embarrassing, isn't it? You didn't know what to do. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed and good evening. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Fuel. I recently uh, bought a book on statistics. I'm quite in interested in statistics, quite fascinated. And in one of these, the first thing I read was that one in every three women has long hair. <laughs> one in every 20 has red hair. And they've worked it out that one in every 60 has long red hair. <laughs> one in every thousand women is attracted to older men. One in every thousand women is attracted to Irishmen. <laughs> Which means that one in every 30 million women has long red hair and is attracted to an older Irishman. <laughs> With my luck, it'll be a bloody nun. <laughs> they're extraordinary statisticians, the figures they're going to. I was reading about the average person in this country eats 60 pounds of chocolate a year. I don't eat chocolate. So that means some greedy bastard is out there <laughs> eating 120 pounds. I read because of nicotine and carbon monoxide mixing together, drivers who smoke are four times more likely to have a crash than people who don't smoke. And what I say, keep those off the road and let us drunks drive and save it. <laughs> worked out that the average male is capable of making love in his life 5,000 times. Your eyes lit up there, madam. <laughs> She's nudging him going, what the fuck are you? <laughs> For a statistic like that to be accurate, that means that they have to work under what they call laboratory conditions. So that means that they got some poor fellow, brought him into the laboratory, and he screwed himself to death. <laughs> they have electrodes all over him. Come on, off you go. <laughs> 2,000, how do you feel? Oh, all right, okay, okay. 3,560. <laughs> 4,990. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> is that rigor mortis or another erection? What is it? Somebody, some statistician has actually worked out that the average person on an eight-hour flight on an aeroplane farts 14 <laughs> times. <laughs> That's a nice figure, 14 times on an eight-hour flight. That means you're on an aeroplane with 500 people on a jumbo jet. <laughs> that is 7,000 farts. And they can't get out. <laughs> They're all in there. That means you're breathing farts in. You're breathing other people's farts in. You go, perhaps the fart that you fart is a fart that you've just taken in. <laughs> Getting away from statistics, I, I read recently that women who have silicon implants to the breast at high altitudes can blow up. <laughs> They can explode sitting on an aeroplane. I got on an aeroplane now. I won't go near anybody who's got big tits. <laughs> can you imagine sitting beside somebody with and suddenly boom! A high velocity nipple hits your head. Can you imagine a hijacking the plane? Hijacking the plane? Hijacking the plane? Can you imagine somebody with big tits going in to the pilot and sticking his nipple in the air? Take it to Cuba. Take us to Cuba quickly. <laughs> the world is a lunatic. It's a lunatic place. I was reading about this liposuction. 
where you can have the fat sucked up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you see, I mean, what they actually do, if you want fat removed from parts of your body, they make a small incision and put this tube in and turn it on and it goes, <laughs> starts to suck the fat out of you. What if it went wrong? You just watch yourself disappear. I'm going into the tube. Facelifts. Why, what is it? Why do we need all that crap? Why can't we just grow old gracefully? Facelifts. I mean, they're, how they work. They actually remove sections of skin and then pull it and knit it together again. Just keep on doing that. So if you have one, they just do that. If you have two, they take another bit and keep on going. So you keep on just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. I mean, you've seen people with facelifts, haven't you? <laughs> Worst audience in the world. You tell them a good gag and they go, oh. yawn, they sit beside somebody, you know how yawns are kind of, somebody yawns beside you, you feel a compulsion to yawn, somebody yawns, they do. <laughs> Imagine them having an orgasm, <laughs> lying there. Get a cold and have a sneeze. Find you! <laughs> Bloody faces all over there. What's that? <laughs> Medical science is extraordinary. It's good. Wouldn't you think how advanced it is? It's they can transplant things. They can give you new kidneys and livers, and bladder, and heart. The implants they can do now. They have hips, and arteries, and calves, I mean, the whole kind of thing. And it's got to the point now, there are certain men in the world who have sexual urge, but they don't have sexual arousal. They cannot get an erection. So medical science has come to their assistance, and they have what they call penis implants. <laughs> they have objects that they place in the penis. <laughs> You're getting excited again, aren't you? See? <laughs> It's like, it's like one of those, it's flexible, it's plastic. It's like one of those bones that used to be in your mother's corsets. You remember the thing? And what they actually do is they, they place it in, and there it is. So you have an erection all the time. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's just there. I mean, you can, if you want it down, you just go, and you push it down. <laughs> and if you want it up, you go, whoop, up the bone. <laughs> it's a bit like, she loves me, she loves me not, she loves me. <laughs> believe that you don't have an implant you get a hypodermic syringe and you inject a fluid into your scrotum <laughs> which brings about sexual arousal a hypodermic syringe sexual arousal don't go together <laughs> you imagine lying in bed I love you darling oh shit you don't do you know The most simple one, actually, is what they call an inflatable one. It's an inflatable tube, which they, they place into your penis. <coughs> and it has a little on the base of your penis. And when you want an erection, you put a hand pump on it. <laughs> Just a little hand pump. And you, <laughs> and your dick comes... <laughs> It's like taking blood pressure, isn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine making love and getting a blowout? <laughs> Boom, bang! <laughs> Where's it gone? 